Let us learn what collective noun is. This is an elephant. This is a group of elephants. In English language, a group of elephants is better called a herd of elephants. Here is a ship. Here is a group of ships. A group of ships is better called a fleet of ships. A player, a group of players or a team of players. The words highlighted in red color are collective nouns. A collective noun is the name given to a group of persons, animals or things taken together as one. Different collective nouns are used for different nouns. Let's see some more examples. A choir of singers, a swarm of bees, a bunch of keys. Some nouns may have more than one collective nouns. As you can see here, a school of fish, a shawl of fish, a hole of fish. School, shawl and hole are correct collective nouns for fish. An army of ants, a colony of ants. Army and colony are correct collective nouns for ants. A line of kings, a dynasty of kings. Line and dynasty are correct collective nouns for kings. When we use a collective noun, always be careful to use the appropriate one because different nouns have different collective nouns. It is wrong to say a herd of ships. A fleet of ships is the correct one. A fleet of elephants is wrong. A herd of elephants is the correct one. Even though most of the time a collective noun is treated as singular, sometimes a collective noun may be treated as plural. In picture number one, the flock of birds is considered as a single entity. So it is correct to use rules of singular nouns. The flock of birds is flying high. We use is because we consider the flock of birds as a singular noun. In picture number two, each birds are considered separately. So we use rules of plural nouns. The flock of birds are flying in different directions. We use are because we consider the flock of birds as a plural noun. Similarly, one more example. The class of students is listening to the teacher. The class of students are quarreling. In the first sentence, is is used with the class of students. In the second sentence, are is used with the class of students. That's all about collective nouns. You need to memorize lots of collective nouns to use English language very well. Now, let us check if you have understood what collective noun is. Test starts in